Yeah, I was getting arrested for dumb shit when I finished school for like kidnaps, firearms. I got my first iPhone six, seven months. Then I started creating content in jail. I made a punching bag out of a, what's it, prison mattress. I used to train for like an hour, hour and a half. What's going on guys and welcome back to the Blue Tick Show. This is season two. You lot have all been waiting for it. We had a few weeks off and we're back. I've got a special guest. He goes by the name of Superman. Wait, I ain't actually got Superman on the show. We've got someone, he's all over TikTok at the minute. He's a boxer. He goes by the name of Superman. And his next fight is on Sunday Smoke, Sunday right? Smoke, yeah, trying to get Sunday Smoke ready. So yeah. talk to us, Superman. Yeah. Who are you? How old are you? What do you do? Yeah. And why do people call you Superman? All right, so Superman, I got that name from when I was in prison. But we'll get into that later on. Okay. Um, my name is Shano. I'm from Gloucester. Um, but people know me as Superman. Um, but yeah. why Superman? Like out of everything, <laughs> like I understand yeah. people have got nicknames, road names, hood names. All right, Superman, so, so Superman, the, so Superman so is the, main, the normal one. All right, so the main um, reason why I got Superman is obviously when I was in jail on the wing, doing my workout, just walking around, just doing my thing. I used to wear my Superman rope. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, man, I used to just wear it all the time, just doing whatever, chilling, training, and wearing that rope. So right, the so people start calling me I, Superman. I, I get all of that. Yeah. You missed an important part out. You're yeah. sitting there telling us when yeah. I was on the wing, when I was yeah. this, when I was in jail, when I was in... The people are here because this is season two of the Blue Tick Show. This yeah. is all crime-based. Yeah, okay. We want to know, what were you in prison for? Like, what happened? How old was you? All right, so... Because to me, you seem like a nice guy. You yeah. don't seem like a criminal, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. talk to us, what happened? Nah, so obviously, I'm a boxer, so that's what I do. Okay. Um, what age did you start? I started when I was like 11, 12. Is it Amateur in boxer. the family or? Nah, first? I was the first boxer. I'm the only boxer in my family. Started doing it when I was young, like 11, 12. Amateur fights. I've had like, I had like 10 fights. Yeah. Then just kind of stopped in it. Then got into the crime life. At what age? Uh, so I got kicked out of school um, when I was, um, what's it, in, when I was like 13. Okay, so what, just I going got, into secondary school then? Nah, nah, when I was in like year nine, year nine, year, okay, okay. year nine, I got kicked out, then I moved to a different school, finished off there, um, but the whole school thing wasn't for me, and so I tried working, I tried getting a normal job, but then whatever, got drawn into that life. And when you mean that life, what did that life entail, obviously? Obviously, I was just... Crime. Obviously, there's, there's, I'm limited to what I can see. Of course, of yeah, course, but, I hear that. But what's going on, guys? If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you scroll down. We're now live on Spotify, so you can watch us while you're driving, listen to us, listen to us while you're in the gym. Pretty much just listen to us anywhere. And make sure you give us a five-star review on Spotify. Thank you. But um, I was, yeah, I was getting arrested for dumb shit from like when I, when I finished school for like kidnaps, robberies. Kidnapping? Kidnaps, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, so weren't dumb firearms. shit. Firearms. Yeah, man. Like... Alleged, when I finished, course, yeah, yeah. Alleged, 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 yeah. Got arrested for it, whatever. Some of it got in the fade, some of it still ongoing. Still to this day? Yeah, still wow. ongoing. Um, but yeah, and then whatever, I'm doing my thing on the road. And then, yeah, I get arrested. Um, got <laughs> nicked in 2019. Yeah? Yeah. And how long did you go inside for? I got four and a half years, four years, six months. Is that the first time you ever went to prison? First time, yeah. I got lucky, really, because... I was originally, they was looking to give me double figures, 10 to 15 oh, years, innit? So what did you get caught with? So it was a six month operation. Okay. So they had me under surveillance. Um, my Cody was from up north. Um, yeah, they had us, they had us under investigation. Um, and yeah, they just what was caught it? us. As in? Our, our conspiracy, conspiracy, okay. class A's. Um, yeah. Um, Alright, question for you, yeah? yeah? So, you go by the name of Superman. Yeah. You're obviously a tough guy. Yeah? Mm, yeah you can yeah. box, you can do all of that. Mm. But the day you stood there and you found out you're going to prison for four and a half years, yeah? Yeah. I don't care how big and bad you are, mm. that shit hits you. Yeah, of course, I don't man. care. Like, there's so many people I've spoken to, they sit there and tell me, I'm not scared of prison, I'll go back, I'll do this. But mm. you got a family, you got mums, dads, I don't know, obviously, if you've got brothers, mm. sisters, I don't know all of that, but... It's not just you that it's affecting. No, it's no, affecting your whole family. Like, I remember I've been arrested once, gone in a cell for 24 hours, yeah. and my mum's crying her eyes out. My dad thinks I'm going to prison. Yeah. It's all mad. But when you're actually there mm. and you get sentenced, yeah. 
No, it's what real, man. Like? It's real. Like, it's real. It's like. But the first day inside, tell me that story. I want to hear that. Bro, when you're on, when you're on road, you just feel untouchable. And when that when they come, it just it just hits you, and you're like, fuck. You get me? It's like they come through that door, and they they come. There, there's a, there's a lot of them, and you get me. And then and you know what it is? They're strip searching you in your own yard. That's the first time I ever got strip search as well, and you get yeah. me. I'm in, inside my own. Usually they take you to the cell and do yeah. that. But then yeah, man, it's not it's not nice, and you get me. They take you away from your family, whatever. Then that first night in the prison, it's not nice at all, man. So how did you? How long was you in? Obviously you're in a cell twenty four hours. Yeah. You went court in the morning. Or yeah, did when they court, bail you, what was it? Straight to yeah, I knew, I knew I was, I was oh, going to knew, jail. Yeah. I knew when they come like that, I knew I was doing. I wasn't gonna get out on bail yeah, or yeah, nothing. Yeah. I knew, um, and yeah, me and my Cody was in the cell, um, yeah, and then that that morning it was like a jungle, man. You just heard, you just wake up early. So when you go in there, yeah, tell, like, listen, touch wood, I've never been, yeah. But what actually happens that day? You go court, you get told, cool, you're going to prison four and a half years. Mm. Van picks you up, takes you to the prison. How how's it work? Because obviously there's many yeah. viewers who are watching this yeah. who are going to be interested in what happens in prison on the first day. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm quite interested as well. What actually does happen? Do you get taken there? Do you get... So you first, you obviously spend the night. It depends how long. You Sometimes you can spend like two days. But I think it's like two days max. In the, cell. in the cell, unless it's a big case and yeah. like mad, certain mad, but maximum they can keep you in the cell is for about two days. Then you go to um, magistrate's court, um, and then from there, the judge can either bail you mm. or then Remind. remind you in um, prison. So yeah, they reminded me, and I was in H and P Hull okay. for that first month. Um, and yeah, that was long, man. Obviously, and that that jail was disgusting, man. Nasty. It was a nasty jail, innit? You get me? And so was you yeah, sharing man. a cell with someone? Yeah, I was sharing a cell with my Cody. With first, your Cody, with yeah? With my Cody, yeah. Well, that's okay. Yeah, Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, at least it's someone you know kind of thing, not mm. just a stranger. No, 100, 100. And then I moved wings. And then, yeah, man, just... You know, getting you're on the wing, trying to get to know. Was you ever getting uh, in trouble, having fights? Because obviously, nah, not straight away, not straight away. It wasn't until I moved prison, I shit started getting cracking. And then why? What happened? It's like Why'd you move prison. Is that what they do? They just yeah. So um, when we went to Crown Court, I went to Gloucester, and okay. the closest one from Gloucester is Bristol. So I got shipped over to Bristol, and then yeah, it was for the first six months. It was long. Like I had no job. I was just in my cell. Some of the man them have got Xboxes, in it? But Xbox, you've got, in Xbox, the cell? Yeah, Xboxes, innit? And How do you get an Xbox in? Them, them times, obviously, is Corona, innit? So yeah. you could place your order on Amazon. Sweet. Yeah, on Amazon and put in your application. And depends how much money you got in your spend, all that shit. Well, you could order an Xbox to prison? Xbox to prison, yeah, yeah. It, and there's Wi-Fi, wi- you pay <laughs> online and everything? Nah, nah, no Wi-Fi. Obviously, they take out the internet or... So, you can't, just you can't like really, yeah. Like you story mode kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Like still, that, you got yeah. something to do. You got certain to keep you, but you can't go online or nothing like that. But People yeah. People were going online. I'm sure they were yeah, yeah, yeah. People who had their iPhones or yeah, whatever, hotspot, hotspot all that, yeah. Um, I got my first iPhone, like, what's it? Six, seven months. Then I started creating content in jail. Okay. Yeah. And, and I'll, 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 like? I'll show you some of the content I got on my phone. Make sure as well. you send me it now, so yeah. obviously I can throw it up on while people are watching this. Yeah. So, for example, it'll be playing right now. They'll be watching it while you're telling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what made you obviously want to go down the content road? Because I had a vision yeah. when I was in there. Tell us. I knew I was. Us. I knew I was always meant to be boxing because I'm talented. If you watch my boxing, you can see I'm talented. I, did. I watched a few clips before you come on. Yeah. I, did. I, I don't want to over hype myself up too much, but I I believe I'm good at what I do and and. Like, from young, I was always good at boxing. Um, and when I was in jail, I thought, you know what? Obviously, like, I'm FaceTiming or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, But when I had nothing else to do, to put the phone to a side, do, bang out some push-ups, go on live. I made a punching bag. So listen to this. I made a punching bag yeah. out of a, what's it, prison mattress. Yeah? Folded, <laughs> listen. <laughs> out of a, uh, what's it? Yeah, P- prison mattress. I folded it up. Yeah. I said, tied it with some, I ripped some prison jumpers up, tied it up, ripped some, whatever, whatever, you get you me? Find, Do- whatever I could find, tied it all together, duct tape around it, 
stuck it to the window. You get okay, me? Yeah. Ripped That's up it. some jumpers, put that around my wrist, whatever. I used to train for like an hour, hour and a half, just doing rounds and that. You get me non-stop. But you know what it is as well? You found a way if that makes sense. Yeah, no yeah. matter what, you had your vision, you thought, okay, cool. When I get out, mm. I'm doing this. I'm taking this serious. And obviously, when you got out, you obviously haven't gone back to the road life. Nah. Here, yeah. Touch wood. And is it hard to adapt? Don't get it twisted. You weren't inside for years and years yeah, and years. Yeah, but yeah. two years is still a long time mm. away from everything, especially during COVID times as mm. well. What was it like? Was you inside during COVID times? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. What was that like? It was, you know what? Because you can't, you, you couldn't, no families could come visit you. Did, oh, you yeah, could yeah. book a visit, but it'd be through Free this month. app called Purple Visit. It's like FaceTime oh, and it's Skype, Skype kind of thing. It's, you can't, you, yeah, you can't really... And you were yeah. probably FaceTiming anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was <laughs> doing. But just FaceTiming my people. But yeah, man, you couldn't visit no one for like, it was like that for a good year. And then when they did bring in visits, like it was social distancing. Yeah, you can't was, you can't cuddle your people. You can't, you it's know. probably made it even harder like yeah, that as well. Because yeah. you're sitting there, family's there. You want to go and give them a hug and say, like, yeah, don't worry, it, yeah. I'm, I'm out soon. And instead you got to stand and be like, oh, I'm coming yeah, soon. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not easy. I get no. that. Obviously, I've not been in that position, mm. but... I can imagine it. Mm. So look, let's move it forward. That little side of the chapter is closed. We'll come back to it shortly. But yeah. you're out now. Yeah. You're on this boxing scene. You obviously want to take over the TikTok yeah. industry, whatever you want to call it. Mm. Sunday smoke. You've got Wicked and Bad flying around at the minute. You've got yeah. all these boxing, yeah. what are they called? Organizations. Mm. What's the plan for you? What's this vision you had? Tell us. So like you said, the Wicked and Bad, that's another platform Like I'm looking to jump on. If I Obviously, I want to get Sunday Smoke out the way. Smoke my man, KO him. New Jacks, you're going to get it, by the way. I'm going to thump <laughs> in your head. But yeah, I'm going to smoke my man. Yeah, on tell him what round, Come on, we need prediction right. live. I'm going to toy around with him first round. Second round is when I'm going to wipe him out. Yeah? That's it, yeah, 100%. So I'm going cl- to clip this up and if you don't do it second yeah, round, all right, yeah. then it, you're going to become a meme. All right, cool. cool and I can't, cool. You, you can't get knocked out as well. Nah, nah, you no way. You can't be letting that happen. No way, no way. Like, I'm not. So far, everyone I've had on has won their fights. Yeah. I had Ty Mitchell, he won his. Yeah. I had Tom Little, he won his. Okay. Don't let me down. Nah, I won't. I won't bro. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not posting <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah. But, so you got him, Sunday Smoke, we're going to smoke him. Yeah. Let's hope that happens. And then... Wicked and Bad, hopefully. Wicked and Bad, yeah. That's uh, another platform I'm looking to do. Yeah, yeah. But then after that, I'm looking... Amateurs is the way I'm looking. I want to win. So you don't really want to go down the YouTube community. You want to nah. more focus that, on... What I'm doing now is just bringing in publicity. Um, building your name. Building my name, building my brand, exposure, and then get amateur carded, win some national telts, Western counties, whatever title I can get before I turn pro, and then just go all the way with How my boxing. I'm 25. Is that an old age to start boxing? It is, it is. For what, what I'm trying to achieve, um, obviously there's a lot of pressure. That's why I'm looking to fight. As soon as I'm amateur carded, I'm going to get, I'm planning to fight every week. Every week? Every week, yeah. I'm not, I want to go like, I'm going to speak to my coach and if you can get me a fight every week. With amateur, there's a lot of competition, so I'm sure that won't be hard. So I'm going to be but fighting every week. time to recover, right? Yeah. Obviously, there'll be times where So you're I, just looking to go in there and punch up every single that's man's it, first round it. knockouts and just smoke It's not off. even that. It's just I want to gain that experience, isn't it? You get me? I'm going to train my ass. So 2023 is the year I'm going to train, fight, fight after fight, and that's it. Just keep winning. Well, that's look, the plan, isn't it? At the that's end of the, the day, yeah. you're calling it, you're visioning it, it's yeah. there. You just got to make it happen. Manifest it, yeah. That's it. Like, a lot of people... They say they want certain things to happen. They never have a plan. You've got your plan. That's what matters. You've got your one fight a week, which is a bit mad, yeah, <laughs> I must yeah. say. But if you're saying you can do it, do it. Obviously, you know in, in order for you to stand out, this is for everyone that's watching. Like, If you've got a vision, if you've got a dream, you've got to stand out from the rest. So even if that means you fight every week, you fight every week. and You've got to make it some way or another. Isn't it? And that's me fighting that temptation from going back to the roads. And there's a lot of people that are in my shoes and that can relate to me as well, and so that's I'm trying to spread that message to them as well. A hundred percent. You get me. It's you've come out of prison. You're doing yeah. good with your life now, so a lot of people are going to respect that you turn your life around, which yeah. is massive. And I give you credit for that as cool as well. So let's take it back. You said when you was in prison, you was having fights when you moved. Yeah, yeah. What happened? Talk to us. So. Um, yeah, one of the jobs I had when I was in prison yeah. was a gym orderly. 
A gym orderly, was that? Gym orderly. So it's like you're in the charge of putting people in the gym, okay. like writing a list down and just working at the gym, cleaning equipment, yeah, yeah. all that. Um, so it one of my... Meant, it meant you get to stay in the gym, though? Yeah, basically. I was pretty much in the gym all day. Yeah. I'd wake up. So my routine in jail, so I'd wake up like half seven and I'd be in the gym. Sometimes I'm training like three, four hours a day. Weight training, cardio. Like, I'll show you the picture from yeah, yeah. before jail to when I come out of jail. Like that big difference, isn't it? Swear down. But yeah, um, yeah, put, I, um, yeah, put on some good size. Got got into shape. But yeah, I was training, boxing training, weight training. Yeah, one of the jobs I had was a gym orderly. So I had to right write place. people. And w- there must have been a time where I forgot to put someone down. Yeah, yeah. And whatever. Everyone's ready to leave go to the gym and he's coming down sticking it on trying to stick it on me and it like fam you're not putting me you've not put me on the list of you the f- like you know he's yeah, like, yeah, trying yeah. to whatever and he's literally tried swinging for me and you get me well, just because you didn't put his name on the list yeah i didn't put it. He's, he, he's gone for man obviously reflexes step back and i hit him with the right hand and he just dropped there and then that was my first fight because i didn't put someone on the list you get Swear me to God. just over a list on the name and it but that was my first fight, and then I had a couple. I had another fight in the shower. That was, that was over some ego, yeah. you know, trying to see who's who's the bigger man, and it. And yeah, man, that's it. A lot of people, I've always asked people about prison because no one really understands that shit happens in there, and yeah. no one even hardly people come out to tell the story because mm. so much bad does happen inside. Yeah. And I think a lot more people come out worse off when they come out of prison yeah. than they are when they're going in. Yeah, People yeah, make yeah. a mistake, they go inside, yeah. and then you got all the criminals yeah. in one place. It's a network. Yeah, of course. That's what course. it is. I was talking to someone, and he was going, when you go to prison, it is a network to find people. He goes, there is people that go prison yeah. to meet other people yeah, and they to find do links. moves when yeah. they get out. Yeah, 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 of course. Like, you find links. When you, go, when you go in there, you find connects, you find links, and then it just opens you up to more people. That's it? what it is. It's just who yeah. can come out and say, nah, you know what? Mm. I want to stay away from that. Yeah. And... Well done to you because it's not easy. No, nah, it's not. It's not. It's not. You especially you could have easily gone back to the roads. Yeah, and it's so easy to just turn on the phone and just get the line popping again. But it's like it's not worth it. Whoever's on road now, like it's not worth it at all. Especially with the technology, cell site, you can't get away, and you've got to be ten. Like you know the saying, the police have only got to get lucky once. Yeah. You've got to get lucky every single time. Yeah. So it's like it's not worth it. It's not worth it. And it's, what is it? It's maximum, you get me? It's like minimum reward mm-hmm. and maximum risk. Like, risk. And if I was to get arrested again, I'm looking at 10, 15 years easily. Serious. Second time, you don't get as, third time, you're fucked, basically. <laughs> you get me? But second time, nah, they won't be as lenient. I got very lucky with my first sentence to well, get four and they, a half. How did they, why did you get such a reduced sentence? So obviously, um, mine's just conspiracy. So yeah. obviously there's an organisation. Yeah, but whatever. conspiracy can land you any amount of time inside, no? Yeah, yeah. So, obviously, it's categories. You have yeah. leading role, you have significant role, then you have lesser role. Lesser role, you're right at the bottom. You're, you're on the front line, yeah. whatever. You're a runner. Yeah, you're a runner. So, at first, they tried doing me for leading role. Um, I got it down from... And they tried doing us for over a kilo. So, mm-hmm. that puts us right at the top um, leading role. But they couldn't prove that I was a leader. So, the role got put down from leading to significant role. Okay. So not at the bottom, but just in the middle. In the middle. And then they couldn't prove that we moved over a kilo because all they had was just uh, phone calls, that's it. Um, and did you have any idea that the feds were onto you? Nah, no clue whatsoever. Like nothing? Nah, but I, I, f- I believe that there was an informant in my circle. Do you reckon? Like for, from how they got us and the way they got us, like there's no way. Like, I thought like I was 10 steps ahead, but... Like, and how did like, they? Obviously, when you're in court, they have to provide evidence. Yeah. What evidence did they have on you? They had so on me. I got caught with no drugs, nothing. Yeah, the yeah. only thing they found me was cash and the main phone. Oh. Um, my Cody, um, same thing. They got him through cell site. Um, no drugs. Obviously, the people below got caught with the drugs, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they got us all at the same time as well. So. It was like a big operation, and then, yeah, man, they come for us. And what, heavy. you were just, you had no idea, no idea at all? No, I, I tell you what, so the day they arrested me, yeah, 
yeah. wherever. I've taken my what little sister to nursery, wherever. Got on with my day as normal, picking up the phone, whatever, yeah? I've gone into Tesco and I just see this guy looking at me. He just stood there, just looking at me. I, I, I thought nothing of it at the time. Yeah. But thinking back to it, I was, yeah, he was filming me, and it? You get me? Straight filming me, had me under surveillance. And whatever, I'm just picking up the phone as like normal, and it? Just answer, whatever. Moving hot. Yeah. Come out, whatever. And they've still got me. They've, there's outside my yard, there's whatever. They've, they're filming me. And then, yeah, I'm just in the living room. What was I? I was watching something. I was watching that something on Netflix. Yeah. Boom, door pings off. Bro, they, the way they come, they come through the front door, they come through the back door. You get me? And like, I, had, I only had the second. So I got rid of the phone. I tried getting rid of it and then yeah, you get yeah. me and whatever. Got rid of my iPhone. They didn't find my iPhone, but they found the hot. And how did, what do you mean you got rid of your iPhone? Like, I just threw it and it, like, threw it under, oh, oh yeah, uncovered or whatever, and then the mini phone. That got fucked. That got, yeah. Tried right. whatever hiding it, but they found it, and then yeah, man, yeah. But I got lucky, man, because at, at first, from ten years, that's what he was trying to do me that's, for, isn't it? It's sitting there with your ten solicitor. Years, he's yeah. telling you, yo, you're looking at. 10 yeah, years. that's you what he said. But I had a good solicitor and a good barrister as well, and, and I had to pay some money for that as well. But they started me with eight years, so this is how it went down. They started me with eight years. I had maximum credit. Um, 33 percent knocked off. So if you plead guilty straight away, what's that? Explain that to me. So obviously, the longer you drag out your case, yeah. So if you don't plead guilty straight away, your credit gets reduced. Okay. So you can get your um, sentence knocked off. So if you plead guilty, you get maximum credit. Okay. So the maximum credit is 33 percent. But if you don't plead not guilty, and you plead guilty at a later later stage, so let's just say in trial, yeah, you could, you could get 15 percent. You could okay. get 20 percent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you plead not guilty and you get found what guilty, did you plead? I pleaded guilty straight away. Oh really? Yeah, I knew I, I knew they had me bound to rights. rights. Yeah, I knew the, the evidence they had. I knew. Yeah, I was fucked. So I pleaded guilty. Um, yeah, and then I was I'd count the references. So you know my boxing. Yeah. You know I done my part to. And you know I done my part in the community as well. So that played a part. Just doing my thing in jail. I was a listener as well as a gym orderly. So I was helping people out in prison. Yeah. So that kind of helped me out as well. So your trial was how long while you was inside? By the time I got sentenced, yeah. I had three months left. So I was on remand for pretty much all of it. And it Fuck that, man. Yeah, I didn't know what I was the, getting. The wor- it? That's what yeah. I was going to say. The worst thing is remand. Everyone yeah. says it because you don't know. Like, all that time you're in there is just like wasted time. Mm. And you had only three months left. Three months. But I was gassed. Like we was we done it. We got sentenced through um, Zoom. What's it? Zoom, yeah. We Serious? was all on camera, yeah. And when the s- judge read out the sentencing at the end, I was like trying to hide my face, like yo, I'm gassed. You get me? When he said, yeah, yeah. my final sentence in like four and a half years, I knew fuck, I'm home. You get me? Like three, three months, months from home. yeah. I got a tag. Did you, you get, get let me? home early because of COVID or late? Yeah, I got some sentence knocked off because of oh, COVID serious? as well. Yeah, they was giving out like ten percent extra because of COVID. So Sweet. I thought, I'll yeah, that. I'll take that, yeah. But yeah, by the time I got sentenced, I was gassed, man. I was over the moon. What was the first thing you done when you come out? When I first come out, you know what? I stayed home for a bit, innit? You get me? Spent some good time with my family, innit? Yeah, yeah. You get me? And then I went for a little phase, you know, partying. You get me partying every day, whatever. But then it's just for the past year, 2020, what's it, 2022, 2022. just training. You get me? Well, today is fucking... The first of January, yeah, bro. yeah. The first of Jan, mad, 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 mad. Time's flying, man. Oh, you. Do you know what it is? You click your fingers, and we're next year. Mm. Like within three months, it's gonna be March. Like time is just just goes in a blink, man. And you know what it is? It don't. Time don't wait for no one. It mm. don't slow down for no one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But obviously, with you, the good thing is you've got your plan. Yeah, you've got your goals. You've got your vision. You've got what you've got. What you want lined up, and that's the main thing. And I think the main thing with you is you've got to go on to Sunday Smoke. You've got to win in a sick fashion. That's you it, can't man. just go on there and have a little win. You've got to go mm. on and set a standard so that then you can be yeah. the new TikTok star of boxing. Because yeah, at the minute, 
everyone has their goal. Pro PT was smashing it at one point. Yeah. And then you've just got to take that limelight, basically. Yeah, that's it. The content I'm putting out there is that I hi- I'm setting the levels high in it. Yeah, yeah. So if I've got a, if I'm in the ring, I've got to execute it in it. I've got a win in style in it. So I've got you can't, to back you, it up. Yeah, you can't talk the talk and not nah, walk the walk. It, that's, that's what that's they it. say. Yeah, yeah. 100. But let's see. Look, at the end of the day, everyone can say they're going to do something. Yeah. Yeah. We've got twenty days. Yeah. Couple of weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks. Yeah. Till you're fighting. Mm. Let's see. Mm. That's all we can say yeah, is let's we'll, see. Yeah, let's see, yeah. The people will see. So, Superman. Yeah. Mr. Superman. You make loads of TikTok videos now. Yeah. You're throwing up content. You're doing all this, trying to build your brand. Yeah. What is the content you're throwing up at the minute? Because oh. I met you on TikTok Live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, listen, guys, you know me. <laughs> I do not go on TikTok Live at all, yeah? It's the first time I jumped on Live and I saw Superman. How long ago was this, Bat? Not, not even that long ago, you know, like a couple of weeks ago. Must yeah, yeah, no, I remember. I was, I went on TikTok and I just clicked that guest, that multi guest thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you jumped in. Yeah, I remember that. You was like, oh, "I'm Superman." I was like, oh. <laughs> I remember that. That was a joke. That yeah. was good. But the good thing is, yeah, your name is a brand itself. Yeah, yeah, hundred. But can you get in trouble for having the nickname Superman? Like mm-hmm. genuinely, if you become big in boxing. Yeah, obviously, I've got to do it in a way where I, I don't get. You get me, like Superman boxing. That's what my main brand is, Superman boxing. For, yeah. From what I know, I don't think there's. Superman boxing out there, but I don't know. But fucking Superman, Superman, Superman. Yeah, I'm trying to. What I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be the neighborhood hero, isn't it? So okay, okay, okay. You get okay. me, like neighborhood, <laughs> hero, yeah. neighborhood hero. So just showing the people you can make it, isn't it? You get me. And I'm, I've, I'm, not, I'm not saying I've made it or nothing like that, but I'm going through that process, isn't it? So what's going on with all your TikTok content? Is that what you want to push now at the minute? Yeah, man. Some of the videos, like the first video, I done it. Like took me like half hour to make. I spent some time making Serious? it. Yeah, man. T- like. But that video got like half a mil views in it. You get me? Like pretty much straight away. What, first video you posted? That's the first. And that's the video of me, like some of my prison content, yeah. all in one video. Then coming out and a fighting. You get me? And yeah. that video got like, must have got like half a million views. I think, yeah, it's on half a million views now. And yeah, some videos are getting like 100k views. 50. Like, you know how TikTok yeah, is, yeah, and yeah. it's up and down, TikTok up and down. TikTok one flies, one doesn't. Yeah, that's it, yeah. It is what it is. But TikTok is the best platform to grow on right now. 100%. Look, I'll 100% say TikTok yeah. is hands down the best platform. Yeah. Instagram, you know what? Don't get it twisted though, yeah? One thing I will say is I've started posting Instagram Reels recently. Mm. When it, whatever I post to TikTok, I'm posting to Insta Reels as well. And don't knock Instagram, you know? Nah. Instagram's coming yeah. back with their Reels. I can't lie to them. Like, I posted a Reel a couple of weeks ago. It's at like two point something million, three million views now. Yeah, and yeah. With Instagram, it's just a lot harder to get the ball rolling. Yeah. With TikTok, you post one video, you're viral overnight. Yeah, yeah. You're like, whoa, what the that's fuck? It. Like, that's mad. It's, with Instagram, it's more algorithm, yeah. isn't it? It's more, you've got to keep the posting up. That's it. I haven't got time for that. Yeah. Genuinely, I could sit here and talk about Instagram and TikTok all day long because they both piss me off so much. But my TikTok's close to getting banned. No way. Yeah. I've had like 10 videos that have been reported. Yeah. But yeah, my TikTok goes There's on. a lot of users on there now. It's like, it's crazy. The amount of users on TikTok now is crazy. So what content are you creating? Um, me. It's mainly boxing, isn't it? You get me? Motivational. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Me on the pads, bags, sparring. I switch it up sometimes. Like, try put some funny content on there as well, innit? You get me? How come you didn't? Do you do lives often or no? No, I've only just started coming on live recently. It's been a recent thing, like past two, three weeks, innit? Sure. But you know, I, I can't sit on live and just talk for like hours. Do you know what it is? Yeah, so many people sit on live and talk for literally hours. Like, there's people in prison doing it. Yeah, I've gone, I've been scrolling at night when you go on live and just scroll. Yeah, there's people in prison sitting on live, and I'm thinking, <laughs> rah, like, my, but the thing is, when you're inside, mm. you've got nothing to do. What yeah. else are you meant to do? Yeah, yeah, you might as well, literally. They're like, people on live getting paid as well. Yeah, I had it all right. You know what? Prison, I was, I was. I had a good time in there. Not a good time, but it was no drama, no stress. I went to the gym. My routine was literally just training. So genuinely, yeah. if you could rate your experience in prison out of 10. All right, yeah? so. 10 being, yeah. I wouldn't mind going back. Yeah. And obviously one being, fuck that, I ain't going back. Where would you put yourself? Definitely one, fuck that, I'm not going <laughs> back. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going back, no what, way. What? But you know what? Is it as hard as everyone says? Honestly. Like, a f- f- someone who's going to prison, first time ever going, gets yeah. a 
one year sentence, yeah? You know what it is? Is it's it that hard? No, nah, it's what you do in prison, isn't it? Like? <laughs> like, literally... Um, it's how you act around how you No, nah, it's what jobs you have, isn't it? Like, I, I found it easy because I had it. I had a job. What do you mean, like what? You get jobs in prison now? Yeah, man. You can be, you can be a server, like you work on a servery. You can be a gym orderly. You could, the best job to have was being a red band. What's that? Like, just, you have certain jobs, but you're out of your cell, like, all day. A red band, yeah? Yeah. What is that, though? Was you a red band or not? Nah, I was a gym orderly. It was, like, kind of the same level, innit? Like, it's a trusted prisoner, basically, innit? Like. Okay, okay. And why couldn't you get that? I was still kind of high risk, innit? I I did try, like. You know, because of my fights, I was going to get it, but obviously I got into a couple of scraps and then got taken back down, innit? But then I had my gym orderly job, so I was just in a gym all the time, innit? Come back, let in my bed, playing Call of Duty Zombies, innit? You get me? Oh, yeah, you could play Zombies, Yeah, I was playing Call of Duty Zombies. Well, you must be sick at Zombies. (laughs) The hours you spent into that, your game time must have been mad. You know where I had a wife, I was just jumping online, innit? You get me? So, (laughs) not Wi-Fi, but I I was connecting my hotspot, innit? So, I was just online playing GTA sometimes, FIFA. You, you obviously couldn't get in trouble for being playing and you could play for as long as you want or would they give you like a certain time, certain That's hour? Not, nah, it's just literally like it's all evening, all night you, you could play because you're in your cell, you've got nowhere else to go. Even that, that boy, you must get so bored. Yeah, of course, course. Like, how many times are you going to kill a zombie? Like, yeah. You know like, <laughs> but yeah, zombie, but prison. Like zombies you can yeah, do. yeah. I, I ain't ever going back. <laughs> never, never. But someone, you must see someone playing zombies and think, yo, fuck that. I'm not playing that game anymore. Yeah. But yeah, Prisons, man. look, we can sit here and talk about the good times people have had in prison, the bad times people have had in prison. But at the end of the day, it's prison for a reason. You've mm. got four walls, mm. nowhere else for you to go. You're trapped in somewhere where you don't want to be. Yeah. It's not easy for no one. Luckily, yeah. genuinely, two years inside, it's not a long time. But people say one day is a long time inside. Mm. Like I've had people, my boys, they've been put in a cell overnight yeah. and he's crying his eyes out on the phone to his mum. I can't do it. I can't do it. And I'm thinking, like, bro, you've done one day yeah. in a cell. Yeah. People are inside for years. You know what it is? Because I didn't have like, I had no kid, whatever. I have no kids. It's a lot easier for you. Easier, yeah. I had a missus. Obviously that grew apart. Well, well, <laughs> so you get me when I went, to, whatever. But, I think the pe- the people that will struggle the most is the ones that have got kids. So obviously, I don't. If you don't want to discuss it, that's yeah. fine. I understand it. But your mum and dad still around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom. And you tight with your mum? Yeah, I'm tight with my mum. Yeah. So my biggest thing, if I was to ever go to prison, was yeah. my mum. Yeah. My dad, my dad's a strong man. He will be able to affirm yeah. it. He's yeah. a dad at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? But my mum. I reckon she'd probably try and break me out or something. She'd <laughs> cry her eyes out every single day until I get home. Yeah. Like, how was that for your mum? How did she handle that? You know what? My mum's very strong, isn't it? Very strong. But she used to catch... Obviously, she drives, but she just can't drive on a motorway. So yeah. she used to catch, like, three trains, like, two buses you. to come see me, to come visit me for, like, half hour. You get And me? that day when you got sentenced, was yeah. she there? Yeah, she was there, man. Yeah. Did you, did it's that? not nice. Okay. You know what? Like, she... Like, mothers will feel it the most, don't it? You That's what me? I mean, like, I've always thought, God forbid, if anything happens, even you, you're in a car accident, you yeah. go to prison, I don't know, you get stabbed, God forbid, mm. some, you're in a fight, anything. Yeah. Like, your mum is always the one who's dying inside whenever yeah. something happens. Yeah. And that's what I like, I like asking people questions like that because a lot of people sit there and say, oh, yeah, you know, prison was this, prison was that. But like I said at the start of this podcast, yeah. it don't just affect you. No. Prison affects your family more than it even, and if you have kids, it affects them. If yeah. Relationships, family. You're in there. You're riding it now. You got to ride it. It yeah. is what it is. Yeah. You're there. You've been told you got five years inside. You ain't going anywhere. You're mm. not going to escape. Yeah. So for for the person inside, it's a lot easier. Whereas the people on the outside are dealing with five years of yeah. every day. Where's my son? Where's my son? Where's my son? Why ain't he here? It's Christmas. Why ain't he here for Christmas? It's yeah. his birthday. Why ain't he here for his birthday? Mm. Oh, you must have had a birthday in there. What's that yes. like? Yes, birthdays. Another day, isn't it? You no, get me? No, I just, obviously, they just. What did I do for my birthday? We what couldn't have it? a fucking party. Nah, I was just, <laughs> I was just literally FaceTiming everyone, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, for real. You get me? So I was just chatting to just bare gal in there. You get me? And it just like FaceTiming. No, past time. That's, that's it. Do? That's it. Just FaceTiming everyone. Tell girls you're inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what it is? Girls love it, you know. Yeah, but... Uh, you FaceTime yeah. them from jail, just like... I understand they love it, but yeah. they want to see you too. 
Yeah, yeah. Like if you're chatting to a girl, there's only so long. If you say to her, I'm in here for six months, she, she ain't gonna stick I mean, around. You know what? Nowadays it's like, they prefer you being in there. <laughs> yeah, you know they, they, they prefer you being in there. I swear to God. My girl would prefer me being inside. <laughs> Girl talks. You can't cheat yeah. on me. Yeah. Stay inside. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yeah she de- she would just be like, just come out once a week to come see me. But apart from Somebody that, somebody would be happy that it was just as long as you Facetime me every day. Yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no, you know what though? It, it's actually mad you said that because it's fucking true. Yeah. Real talks is true. Mm. I swear to God, there's a lot of girls that would love for their man to be yeah, locked up. Literally, I want to know your five year plan. My five year plan. Talk to us. You got 2023, you said yeah. you're stepping into the amateur career yeah. and you're literally just going to train your ass off yeah. and smash the amateur amateur career. Hopefully yeah. get your pro card. Yeah. What's the next four years? So you're five, you're 25. I want to know your 25 to 30 plan. Okay. 30 is so, a big goal. Yeah. My end goal, obviously, yeah. Inshallah, my goal is to be world champion. However, I got to do that. I'm gonna do that, and and then, but at the same time, I'm gonna inspire the people as well, and that mm-hmm. like, you ain't got to touch the roads again to do it, and and um, and there's other projects I want to do, documentaries. I want to yeah. shoot little movies, short mo- movies. Um, but yeah, my end goal to be world champion, and fight, fight. If I, obviously, I'm not allowed in America, but. My, my my dream yeah. was to fight in the MGM Grand. At the end of the day, yeah. when you, if you get to a stage where you're that big, yeah. like look at Joshua, for example. Yeah. He's fighting in America. So there is, if you get to a certain level, yeah. then you can obviously, you're... I want to shut I want to shut down stadiums. That's what I want to yeah. do. I want to sell out stadiums. Have people That's screaming it. Superman. That's it. That's it. Superman. All right. So what I will say is you're 25. You've spent two and a half years in prison. You've now turned your life around and you go by the name of Superman. There's probably thousands of young kids watching this right now yeah. who are sitting there thinking, I want to be just like him or I don't want to be like him. Or yeah. there's some dads that are watching it thinking, what an idiot, he went prison yeah. for this. If you look into this camera, yeah, yeah. there's going to be, this video is going to get thousands of views. Yeah. What would you tell the younger generations that are either on the roads right now, yeah. sitting there, Dealing drugs, carrying a knife around their waist, yeah. and they're looking at everyone gets caught. Yeah, yeah? no matter who you are, mm. time catches up on you. It yeah. does. It, you might be outside today, inside tomorrow. Yeah, there's people watching this. What would you tell the younger generations in a positive light to influence the younger generations? And I know so, I've put you on the spot yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, that's part of the. You know what it is? If you've got a dream, if you've got a passion, pursue it. Even these roadmen or trap stars, whatever, if you're gang banging on the road. I know, like, d- d- you can put on the front and say that's what you want to do, that's who you are. But everyone's got a dream. Everyone wants to be something. And if you've got that, stick to it. Drop, drop, drop the, that life and pursue your g- goals and pursue your dream. And if you look up, if, you, if you've got OGs that are putting you on for pennies, you're, you're, you're getting into debt to whatever, just be on the front line, trapping on the road. It's not worth it, and. it? They don't give a fuck if you're doing 20 years on roads. They're going to find another replacement and they're going to replace you. Focus on your passion. Whether you're a boxer, a footballer, you're an artist, you own a business, give it 100% and do that for the next five years. Give it your all and watch where you'll be. Bro, look, That's I, it. I agree with... Yeah. You know one thing I've always said, yeah, I've said it to everyone. If you dedicate 100% to something, yeah. I don't care if it's fucking cleaning windows you'll be the best window cleaner. 100%. If you dedicate 100% to making kebabs, yeah. they're going to be the best kebabs. You're going to be successful. But a yeah. lot of people will give 30%. Like me, I've started the podcast, yeah? yeah. I've got 5,000 subscribers. Yeah. A lot of people will give up and say, mm-hmm. you know what? I haven't got 50,000. Yeah. Dedicate yourself. Even when times are hard, yeah. just keep throwing it. Like there's going to be days you might lose a fight. Mm. Yeah? A lot of people think, oh, fuck, you know what? I'm not good enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I'm ready to quit. That's yeah. it. There's going to be times where you win and you're at a high. Mm. You think, you know, I'm the best ever. I ain't yeah. got to train. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. that. But it's about just always giving you 100%. 100%. Yeah, and that is just... one thing. That's one of my mottos as well. You Literally, what you just said was bang on. Trust in the process. That's all it is. Because it is going to pay out. As long as you don't give up and you stick at it, it will pay off. 100%. 100%. That's it. You got anything else you want to say? 
I just want to say thank you for letting me. This is my first this is my first ever podcast. And Guys, if he looks a little bit nervous, yeah. <laughs> allow him. Yeah. He, he ran to the toilet four times before the <laughs> podcast started. <laughs> Couldn't even find the toilet. Yeah. Went missing for a minute. But genuinely, thank you for coming nah, on. Nah, Honestly, yeah. inshallah, we see you. Inshallah, man. Champion, yeah. boxing champion. Yeah. And when you're up there, make sure you come back on the show. Yeah, 100%. Talk I will. about yeah, man. coming on and giving us some. Yeah, we'll remember this date. The 1st of 2023. The 1st of 2023. So yeah. let's say the 1st of 2020. Give it a few years. 2026. Yeah. You've got three years. Inshallah, yeah. I'm still about jump on it. Hundred percent. But genuinely, thank you for coming on. By then, by then you'll be on. You get me 100%. on a much bigger scale as well, isn't it? Hundred, hundred, hundred percent. Guys, thank you for watching. Um, Superman's TikTok, Instagram, all his socials will be in the bottom. Make sure you go and follow him. Show some support. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.